Well, thank you everyone for joining this webinar. Um, our main goal behind this webinar is to um, just be, provide some basic information about how ozone can be used um, in the hospitality industry and in the hospitality sector. So I'll go through um, my slide deck giving some information. If anyone has any questions, please use the Q&A section um, at the end. I'll go ahead and look at that and make sure that I do get any of those questions answered. Okay. So a little bit about me. Welcome to the webinar. Uh, my name is Sanal Patel. I'm the SVP of engineering here at Ozone Solutions. Uh, my main focus at Ozone Solutions is providing technical expertise to ozone applications in different sectors, not just hospitality, but I also focus on large industrial systems. Um, I have a background in chemical engineering, so um, I do provide chemical expertise to uh, simple applications, but also complicated applications that may have that may come up during the process. Um, my main focus at Ozone Solutions is to make sure that we integrate uh, custom solutions, but we also um, figure out how we can solve the customers' issues that do come up. So working very closely with um, the sales and engineering and service department, we're able to provide um, pretty uh, powerful messages in terms of how ozone can be used in different industries. So yeah, welcome to the webinar. Um, today I'm just going to show a couple of um, real life scenarios, a couple of case studies, show how ozone can be used in um, hospitality industry. We look at hotels, we look at daycare centers, uh, schools. Um, if you're looking at restaurants, we can integrate ozone into all these applications. It's recently taken a big um, increase in sales or big increase in popularity because of COVID. Um, ozone is used uh, pretty often nowadays just due to the ability for ozone to react with not just uh, bacteria but viruses. It had been used over many years to get rid of bed bugs. So bed bugs Excuse is... Excuse me, Microsoft Teams classic need... So uh, bed bugs is one thing that can be uh, treated during this as well. Okay. So how is ozone made? Um, a lot of people ask us this question. Is it a chemical? What does it actually do? Do I have any inputs? So very quick step-by-step -step explanation about how ozone is made. Um, you basically take an oxygen molecule. So oxygen is available in our atmosphere. That's known as O2. If you provide enough energy, you can actually break the oxygen molecule apart. And this creates an oxygen um, ion. And this atom basically attaches to another oxygen molecule to form ozone. So you have O2, you break it apart, and it attaches to another ozone molecule, so oxygen molecule, to create ozone. So therefore, it's O2, break apart oxygen atom. That atom then reacts with the molecule to form ozone. Okay, And this molecule, um, therefore, you don't need any raw material in terms of input from the customer side. But what it is, is you're, pro you're using the atmospheric oxygen in the air to create this ozone. So it's a step-by-step -step process, um, very simple um, method of generating ozone is using electricity or energy to break apart the molecule. Um, just a good idea behind how ozone even came to um, manufacturing or how uh, vendors started manufacturing it is basically looking at what is available by our atmosphere. So our atmosphere has, our atmosphere has oxygen present. When there's a thunderstorm, what happens is that thunder, or the electricity, uh, the lightning puts enough energy to break those molecules apart. This then can form ozone, and that's why it smells very fresh after a lightning storm. As ozone is used, uh, ozone is manufactured or ozone is made, and it reacts with all those impurities in the air, mostly dust, dirt, any type of um, um, gases that may be released, ozone can go and react with that. And the nice thing with ozone, if there's nothing to react with, it converts back into oxygen. Therefore, we consider it organic. We consider it um, immediate reaction and it's safe for people to come in. There's no chemical usage in that way. 
Okay. So what we do is we take the ozone gas and we can integrate it into various applications. And one of the applications that we use that a lot of uh, companies in the hospitality industry um, use a lot is getting rid of insects. So if you have cockroaches, you have bed bugs, you have some sort of infestation that happens through the, the facility, you can put ozone and ozone is um, very harmful to these bed bugs or cockroaches. They do not like um, ozone. So what they do is they move away or they are killed. If they cannot, uh, if they cannot find a way out, they will normally die on the spot. So there's very um, few insects that actually um, can survive this. We have done it with black widow spiders. We've done it with cockroaches. We've done it with bed bugs. We've done it with insects. Ozone will go ahead and react to those and force them out. So therefore, it's great for using for hospitality industry. Another great thing is that with COVID that has come up, um, a lot of facilities want a sanitization in that space. So what we do is we put an ozone generator. It's able to sanitize all different surfaces and then also help with disinfection um, in terms of bacteria level, but also viruses. And a great thing is that even if you have like any smoke odor, the ozone can go after and react with that. A lot of times the smoke odor has penetrated into the carpet or into the curtain or into the bed sheets. The ozone is able to penetrate all of this and provide a very fresh smelling uh, product at the end of the day for um, any type of hospitality error. So what, what I'll do is I'll provide a case study here that we've done. Um, it's for a uh, Fairfield Inn and Suites in San Antonio, Texas. Um, we did it for about 110 rooms in 2021. So this is when COVID was at its highest um, and people wanted to find a way to sanitize those rooms. Uh, what we did is we used a, a dual strategy. We used one, which is the DR10 plus. I'll explain that unit to you here in a little bit, but also the HVAC unit. So those two units, um, I'll touch base with you what those two units are, but those two units provide this dual sanitization in the room, not just a shock trimmer, but a longevity over a period of time when uh, people can be in the room as well. I'll show you the results on what it is. The quick um, assessment of that is you're able to turn rooms over faster and you don't have any downtime for many rooms. A lot of the times if the hotel um, or if the area has been has a bad odor to it, a lot of times you close that section down and you don't rent those out or don't give them out. What we've done is we've actually been able to turn those rooms over so that uh, people can be back inside so that we can um, rent those off. That's where we make our money. And the ROI, what is the ROI? A lot of times uh, hotels ask us this question. Well, the ROI, if we're planning on spending this money, we normally find within just one month, we're able to provide a ROI. Normally in the hotel industry or in the hospitality industry, you're looking for about an eight to a 10 month ROI. We're able to provide it in one month just because of the quantity and the success that we've had. So I'll go ahead and explain a little bit about the case study here. So what we did is we went to Fairfield Inn and Suites by Marriott, and we said, all right, we have 110 rooms. The hotel has 110 rooms. How many rooms did they have out of order in 2021 before we came in? So in 2021, they had 3,436 rooms that were closed or out of order for that year. And at an average cost, there was $96.90 per room. So what we did is we said, all right, those are the rooms that either had bad odor, some smell issues, uh, maybe a, uh, a customer had cooked and burnt a pot, um, cockroaches, bed bugs, everything of the above that I have explained. And we said, all right, let's go ahead and integrate ozone into this between just January and August. And how much money can we save? in the longevity and how can we um, improve this? So a lot of times, yes, there is some um, rooms that are out of order that have leaks with plumbing or need some work to be done on the AC, um, need a new bed put in place. So those are the rooms that we can't really do much with. That's something that's gonna be something handled by maintenance. But the other rooms that someone has smoked in, bed bugs, insects, uh, we were able to create. So you can see uh, we increased um, the out or we decreased the amount of out of order rooms to 557. That means we increased the availability by 60%. 
and we were, they were able to charge actually higher for the hotel rooms. This was not just because of inflation, where they were able to charge a higher price for the room just because of the experience that customers had. We were able to provide a fresher smelling room and the ratings in the hotel started to go up as well. So that's one thing that we can um, help with in the longevity. What are the things they added? So the unit that you see over here, that's called our DR10 Plus. Um, unit basically it's a unit that comes in a pelican case can be rolled there's two wheels at the bottom um, it's great for housekeeping to move around you don't have to lift it um, and what they normally do is after every room once housekeeping is done there's a nice touch screen we teach you we teach um, the hospitality team um, and housekeeping team on how to use it and it's as simple as putting pressing the start button and it automatically turns off so if it's in the red, if the red light goes on over here, that means it's not safe for you to enter. Eventually, the ozone generator will go on, shock treat the room. And then the nice thing about this, the plus stands for the destruct unit. So it actually has a destruct unit that would destroy any ozone that's in the space. So therefore, we can turn the rooms over a lot faster. So instead of waiting four hours for one room to be treated, we're able to get it down to about 20 minutes to an hour, depending on the size of the room. And as housekeeping is in the next room, you're able to finish one room and move it to the next. So it's a nice pairing that goes with housekeeping. As they move along, the unit moves along as well. Okay. So, right, just some quick ideas of what we've done. We've seen the bed bugs on the mattresses, but not just in the mattresses. There's other companies that use heat or energy to actually kill the bed bugs. The bed bugs are not just in the carpet, they're also in the carpet, the curtains. So when we treat with ozone, we're treating the whole space. And that's how the, the bed bugs infestation, infestation actually dies off, is by constantly putting ozone um, at high levels that completely treats the bed bugs and not just um, pinpointing an actual location. Okay. So once again, multiple um, applications, um, we are able to integrate into the HVAC unit too. I'll explain to you how we integrate. We have something called the PTAC unit, and this integrates into your HVAC. And the, the DR10 Plus is meant for a shock treat approach where you're treating the whole room for all the applications. And then the HVAC unit, we, the, it integrates into your PTAC and you would, basically put a constant amount of ozone that's safe for people, pets, and plants to be in and there and make sure that it's completely sanitized. And in case someone smokes or in case something does come up, um, the ozone can react with it and and increase the the likelihood of keeping it clean and smelling fresh as required. Um, the sustainable, it's the ozone is generated on site. There's no chemicals. It's a one time purchase. We do have a lease program with a service contract where we come and we service all the units. We put the HVAC, we install the HVAC units for the customer and we, we give you some additional training. But that's up to you on how you want to integrate the ozone into your application. But the main idea is having ozone available so that you can get you can treat all these issues that do come up. Um, we do have a the rapid turnaround time in terms of treating the room. It's not like other sanitizers that you have to wait days on days. Ozone does help with immediate clean so that it can be moved on to the next room. The district unit, if you saw, there's a HMI PLC on there. Depending on your room size, so you might have a suite that's slightly bigger and you may have rooms that are slightly smaller. You can basically manipulate the amount of ozone and district unit that has to that has to run. We normally do provide a sheet that goes into the top of the lid and that will actually tell you the amount of ozone that you need to run per square foot. Okay. Um, and then your final one is we've we've done some case studies where viruses and air quality, we did an air sample, but we also did a swab analysis on where ozone is able to get to and where most of the bacteria are at. So I'll explain to you a little bit onto how, um, what type of case study in terms of actual um, testing with bacteria. I'll explain that in the next slide. Um, but over here, just wanted to say some points that are not a lot of people actually consider is 
one, you're streamlining your logistics and chemical reduction that may happen in your facility. You're able to get a better guest satisfaction. So you're able to charge a lot higher. Your ratings are going to go up. And then you're able to also prioritize the employees' well-being because it has a safety sensor in there. You don't have to use chemicals, so they don't need to be high um, amount of safety testing being done because the ozone, once you're given the ozone training on how to use it, it's completely safe for people to be in. So I'll, as I said, I'll discuss a little bit about the, the test that we did. We actually ran the ozone unit um, in the room and that had uh, a bathroom. So we did a couple of swaps to see how ozone um, would actually react on the toilet seat um, and also in the toilet and see how that happens. So we actually took a, a swab um, around the toilet and we found that it showed about 6,800 in terms of bacteria count. Um, after we did the, after we ran ozone, we left the door open, we ran it, we did a shock treat like we normally do. Um, we saw it being reduced down to 20. So this is even below standards of food that's being served. So we were able to clean it to a very high level. And this was even after housekeeping had came in. So housekeeping came in, it was 6,800 on the bacteria count. After we did the ozone, we were able to bring it down to 200. And this is just with a simple shock treatment. Within uh, 20 minutes of ozone, we were able to get to this level. Okay. So yeah, you're basically getting rid of any pesticides, any heat treatment, um, any type of energy reduction. We're able to save on that as well because the heat does require a lot of energy. All of this uses about a 110 power outlet that's available in um, the hotel and is able to provide um, way less energy consumption compared to other um, approaches. Okay. Um, one thing that a lot of hotels have started doing um, recently, these are pictures of hotels, um, they've been able to put into place uh, a chemical free standard. Uh, a lot of the hotels have enjoyed using the sustainability plan is moving away from chemicals and actually presenting customers with this option. Um, this has definitely helped with um, filling up the hotel rooms and then also preservation of the equipment because it doesn't need to be replaced as often furniture stays cleaner a lot longer you're able to save in cost in terms of replacing mattresses and replacing the carpet due to bed bugs or heat so you're able to save a lot of cost in terms of that as well okay so as i talked about the ptech unit so um the ptech unit is a small device that basically you take off the lid of the AC unit and it integrates into it. So every time the AC turns on, that PTAC unit will go on. As the AC drops or the AC turns off, the, the ozone unit will turn off. And this puts out a very low concentration of ozone. It's very safe for people to be in. Um, and this makes sure that it's completely safe even around that area, but puts enough ozone just to provide a clean experience for the customer. And in case they do smoke or cough or anything like that, it's able to make sure that that level doesn't ever hit a high point. Okay, so this is just an example. We've done it too with like restaurants. There's a lot of time uh, companies have ozone that is, or have issues with like kitchens or have issues with how ozone is implemented into um, the hallways and offices we can integrate ozone into the HVAC unit that basically does the same thing, low concentration of ozone people can be in and putting ozone into that space. Um, so we also work with ice machine units. Ice machine units in, um, in hotels or hospitality industry, you run into the issue where mold is generated in the ice machine. So what we have done is we've been able to integrate an ozone generator system. Once this is a aqueous ozone generator. And what this does is that as your water is being plumbed into your ice machine unit, you actually integrate a small ozone device prior to this. And what this does is it provides a small level of ozone that helps with sanitizing your, your vending machine, but also helps with creating ozonated ice but it's at a very low level. 
So it's safe. It actually, as that ice melts, it actually helps as a sanitizing agent um, and prevents any type of molding scaling that may happen. So first, what we do is we tell the customer, clean out your uh, ice machine unit, then go ahead and install this. I'll show you guys what that unit looks like. And this is going to prevent illness and it's going to help with reducing maintenance costs because maintenance, you do have to undo the whole ice machine unit and start cleaning. It does take a bit of time. So this actually reduces that you won't have to clean as often. If you're cleaning every three to six months, you can go ahead and clean every year or so. So this is what that ozone um, unit looks like. Um, all it is is your water inlet and your water outlet. You basically integrate it. You can mount it right next to your ice machine on every floor, or you can even mount it to your vending machine. And all it is is your water goes in, your water goes out, and then there's a small filter at the bottom. You can undo it and replace it. It takes within a second. You can undo it and re-put a new um, filter for that unit that generates the ozone. So yeah, um, in terms of compatibility, the, all the ice machines, um, as well as any type of vending machines, it's completely safe. It's compatible with running with all of these companies. If you do have a, a ice machine that is not on this list, let us know. We'll just have to see if it's ozone compatible, and it's very easy for us to look into it and see how that works. Um, quick point is, I'll give you a quick summary of this. So you don't have to use any chlorine. Um, it's not going to affect the taste of the the ice. It's going to help preserve your product because of the ice bin. It's going to be sanitized. When it melts, it's going to help sanitize the drains. When the ice melts, it's going to help sanitize all the sidings and make sure that the fixtures and everything are cleaned. And then you're going to save in maintenance costs and also um, you will reduce illness in your process. So this is um, a couple of items that I did want to share. So this is the DR10 Plus that you see. Then you have your PTAC2 um, at the bottom here. And then you have your X2. We have the X4. We have the X16. Depending on how much water you use, we can install that. Uh, we rent, we lease, we also sell these units. This is something that can be provided to your application. Uh, we do provide continuous service options. So if you want to lease and you want to do constant service, we can do that as well. Um, as well as multiple locations. So depending on where you're located, um, we're able to provide uh, service anywhere around there. We've done, we've we shipped to uh, many places around the world. We've done um, overseas in Europe, um, South America, Africa, um, Asia, any, any continent we are able to take care of. And then we're able to get sales rep or service reps to customers locations. This is completely approved by EPA, USDA, FDA, and OSHA. So we make sure we stay in those parameters when we design these systems. So our mission, um, just to give you a little bit about ozone solutions, um, I didn't want to make this about ozone solutions. This is more about how ozone can be integrated into your process. Uh, but a little bit about ozone solutions. We're an engineering company. We engineer systems to help with a greener future. It's our mission is to create a cleaner and safer world um, with ozone technology. So we do have a standard product line, as I showed you, but we can customize it to your applications. We provide service um, as well as engineering expertise that can help you with uh, various um, locations as well. Okay, so um, this is our contact us page. Um, I did see a couple of questions come through from our uh, question list. So I'll go ahead and um, go through those. So question one that I have.
All right. So question number one, um, can ozone get rid of pet odor? So yes, um, we use ozone not just for pet odor, but for mold as well. A lot of times these two um, are kind of joined together. Um, when you have a lot of humidity and you have issues with um, ozone or have issues with mold and pets, it's normally into the carpet. So what we do is that same um, process. We put an ozone generator. We have some fans throughout the process, and that helps the ozone actually penetrate into treat all these odors. So we can get rid of pet odor, um, any type of mold that may grow, we can be able to treat that as well. So depending on different applications, we're able to integrate into there. And it's just different concentrations. So if you are dealing with um, bacteria, you can do a one to two ppm. If you're dealing with pet odor, you do two to three ppm. If you're dealing with mold, you'll do three to five ppm. If you're treating with COVID, you depending on what concentration and time you have or whatever time you have, you can range between five to 10 ppm. So that just means running it for a little bit longer and we would help you through that process on what to determine for um, your specific room requirements. In terms of maintenance, I do have a question here. What are the, what maintenance is required for your ozone system in hotels? So a lot of times um, maintenance for us is basically just airing out the unit. So when you, with our DR10 plus, um, the ozone section, there isn't much of maintenance that required. We just normally tell a customer to take some dry compressed air and just put it through the unit to make sure that there's no dust that's present. The, pro the bottom district unit is actually an activated carbon district unit. So over time, after about 18 months to 24 months, we normally recommend the customer to ship the units back to us and we would go ahead and rebuild the district unit portion. And that's also a good time for us to check and make sure that it's still producing ozone. So about the 18 to 24 months, we do a calibration and we you guys just ship the unit back to us. We, we do have rental units that we can send back if you need a unit in the meantime, and we can work on that. Um, Another question here is, what are the main benefits of using ozone in the hotel room? So what I did answer or touch on that earlier is, uh, the main benefit is what you can provide to customers, right? Our benefit is to provide to you, to the customer at the end of the day. And the, what that is, is that providing cleaner experience, a fresh experience, a better experience when they come to your location. Um, so you're able to, and not just save in terms of get the rooms turned over, but the, the rooms are going to smell a lot fresher. You're going to have customers that want to spend more time at your facility because it smells fresher. You don't have that mold smell. You have you don't have bed bugs. The whole game plan is to actually provide a cleaner, safer experience when they're at location. Um, and then I do have one more question here how does ozone technology contribute to improving air quality and sustainability within the hotel premise so not just with the hotels we also have smaller ozone units that can be integrated into restrooms so a lot of times restrooms uh you have this off order that provides a customer with a with a bad experience the ozone generator in the restroom also provides the same type of technology as the gas is released, it's able to react. So we're able to integrate this not just into the kitchens, not just into hotel rooms, not just into conference room sections, not into just daycare centers, also into uh, restrooms, wherever you feel that this could be a point where an odor could uh, be released or you could have a negative um, assessment happening, it would be best to have ozone solutions look at it and we can say, okay, hey, we can integrate ozone in this way to help with improving the quality at your location. <laughs>